station. This is Wired. How do you hear me? We hear you loud and clear. These questions that I'm going to ask came from Google Autocomplete. So this is what the people would like to know. (laughs) Do astronauts drink Tang? I don't think we have Tang specifically on board, but we do have lots of fruit juices and coffees and teas and and water, and even now, milk. Do astronauts drink their own pee? Well, thank you for asking us to repeat these questions. In a sense, yes. We take the uh, the condensate uh, that the system collects up, the urine, and all that gets processed and then put out of a portable water dispenser, which is right over our head. So every day, that's pretty much what we do. Can astronauts keep their suits? Unfortunately not. No, our spacesuits are quite valuable pieces of equipment. Can astronauts cry in space? Of course astronauts can cry in space. Uh, You know, the water in space is different because it sticks to your skin. It's almost like like this gluey substance that just has... uh, this ability to stick to your skin. So if you were to have a really big cry, then your eyes would just swell up with water instead of dropping off. Can astronauts wear glasses? Of course they can wear glasses. Jeff has his glasses on right now. I'm wearing contact lenses. Young Tim Peake doesn't need glasses, uh, but we surely can wear them. Can we whistle on the moon? The real question is, Can we whistle in a spacesuit? And it can be very difficult, actually, when you're outside doing a spacewalk, and it would be the same on the moon, because in that that case, you're breathing 100% oxygen, which means you're at a much lower pressure. So when you're at a lower pressure, uh, whistling becomes a little bit more challenging. We certainly can whistle here. Do astronauts need passports? When we come home, we do need passports because we land in Kazakhstan and we have to go through customs. And so our ground team makes sure that we have our passports so that we can actually leave Kazakhstan and go back to America when we're done. Do astronauts vote in space? Yes, we can vote in space. In fact, NASA has been very good about setting up a process so that that we can uh, participate in the electoral process. Do astronauts wear diapers? Yes is the answer to that question. When we launch in the Soyuz, we have at least a couple of hours before launch sitting in that spacecraft, and then we have to go through a six-hour rendezvous, and then we have to spend a couple of hours um, from docking until actually uh, uh, getting on board the space station. We also wear diapers when we go outside the space station to do a spacewalk. We could spend anything from eight to ten hours inside that spacesuit, sometimes longer. So uh, uh, we're behoven to take precautions and wear diapers just in case you need to use it. Well, astronauts can drink alcohol when we're training on the ground on planet Earth, but uh, alcohol is not permitted on board the space station. Can astronauts have piercings? I'm I'm pretty sure there have been some of the the female astronauts that have been up here, the ladies that have had pierced ears and that kind of thing. Other than that, I don't. I'm not aware of any, uh, but I'm also not aware of any restrictions. So, but I would suggest if uh, somebody gets a piercing, they do it on the ground, not here. Can humans colonize Mars? Of course we can colonize Mars. It's, a, it's both a, a technical and a political question because it would take a tremendous amount of resources and uh, that has to have the political will and the funding to do that. And then obviously we need to develop the technology both to get there quickly, uh, land on the planet, and then uh, be able to live there. But uh, I'm certain that someday we'll be able to see that, hopefully in our lifetime. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. Thank you. Have a great day.